is going on over here? Uh, mudding. Mudding? They're using their feet, adding water to the dirt. Well, this is every child's dream. I have shoes. Yeah. I'm, oh, no. I don't think I came prepared to mud. Uncle Dean, come on. Hey, Nate. Yeah. You guys are doing great. Put it right in here, right in there. That's the spot. So well, we are here today to learn about an, uh, a traditional way of building houses here right. at, uh, in Kenya. I think many different cultures do it in slightly different ways, but this is uh, the specifically Kipsugi's way of building uh, a, a hut with, with mud walls. It's very affordable. It's going out of style because now bricks are becoming more affordable, uh -huh. and especially around Tenwek, there's, there's uh, enough materials to do that. Um, but we hear that further out in the village, this is a very common practice sure. still. So it's a, it's a really cool thing. It's a part of our Friday learning enrichment activities, our fleas. Oh, you mean this is work or fun? <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah, both. A little both. Yeah. That's right, Micah. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three layers goes into building this mud hut. Okay. So this is the first layer. Yeah. The second layer would be to cover the sticks. And mm. it will be mudded from the inside and the outside. Okay. These sticks can be supplied by your own land. Yes. Right? The yes. mud is just right here. Right here. Yeah. The water you're gathering and taking up mm -hmm. um, from the river. And um, you're really purchasing what kind of things? The nails? The nails. Yeah. That's around 200 shillings. That, that's uh, two dollars. Right. Yeah. For nails. Yeah. What else are you purchasing to make this? Grass. Happen? This grass is special kind of grass. Uh, it, mm. it only grows in the hills. And these hills have owners. Mm. So the grass, like for this roof, this was 3,000 shillings. Okay. Yeah. And people are cultivating it to sell to for sell these. To sell for this purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. The yeah. cost of this uh, in a village would be around 9000 which is around $70. $70. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Alan, how long will these mud huts typically last here in Kenya? It goes a little over 20 years without even... Really? Yeah, without even doing any renovation. Wow. Yeah. Coming along nicely, guys. All right. Get to... Me. This is like in ladies for your kids. Hi, Dean. This is like heaven. <laughs> they are getting dirty, so we know they're having fun, and it's actually productive. It's blood blessing. They're having we're a learning great from their Kenyan friends how to do it. Fun and hard work. Yeah. yeah.